All right, tonight we're going to go over uh, future value of money in Excel, uh, time value of money. And I've set up a sample problem here and set up different columns to help us find out what the answer is. So we want to invest 20000 in a CD that matures after nine years and pays 2.5% interest. Now, given current CDs, I thought that was slightly generous, but here we go. Um, so I have I like to set it up first. Uh, so the present value is an outflow of money to the CD. So we do negative twenty thousand. Uh, the number of terms or the number of years is nine. The interest rate is uh, two point five percent. The payment is not specified, so we're going to assume that no payments are made, so we set that as zero, and we're looking for the future value. And Excel is nice. If you come to the Formulas tab, you can click on Financial and head down to Future Value, and it brings up this little box. Some people like to um, just work right out of this box. I like to have it written out so I know where I'm getting the numbers from. So the present value is negative 20,000. The payment is zero. The number of years or the number of periods is nine. The rate is 2.5 percent and that is the answer right there. Click OK and our answer is 24,977 and it's as simple as that. Now I set up another problem down here in case we wanted to do it on a monthly basis. Uh, we can do that with Excel as well. We do have to do a little bit of math on the side. Um, so here we are. Present value of 10,000 going out in a mutual fund that compounds 7% monthly. So let's get all the information first. You intend on leaving the funds in the mutual fund for 10 years as well as making monthly payments of $200 at the end of 10 years, how much will be the, the mutual fund be worth? So the number of periods is 10 years, but it compounds monthly. So we're actually going to do 10 times 12, which is 120. The interest rate will also be 7% uh, divided by 12. So we'll do, up here, we'll do an equal sign, 0 0.07 divided by 12. And that gives us a monthly interest rate of 0.58%. Payment is negative 200. And the future value is what we're calculating for again. So we'll head to financial and future value. All right, let's get all the information in there. So present value, oops, present value is right there. Payment is negative 200. Number of years or terms, periods is 120. And the interest rate is right there. And that gives us that number there. And now I also wanted to show you how I got the answer down at the bottom like I did up here, and that's pretty simple. You just click on that, and you're going to do an equal, and you find that one right there, hit enter, and then I also put it in account accounting number format. So there you go. It's as simple as that. Hopefully that was helpful for you.